Uh, next, I'd like to demonstrate another aspect of ferromagnetism. That is how we can take a permanent magnet, such as this compass needle, and reverse the direction of the magnetic field by putting it in the presence of an even larger magnetic field, such as this horseshoe magnet. Here I have the compass needle on this uh, pin here, and it tends to line up in the direction of the magnetic field of the Earth or whatever magnetic fields might be surrounding it there. And uh, the Earth's magnetic field is dominant in this case. And it lines up in the Earth's magnetic field so that this black end points toward the north. Now to change the direction of the magnetic field in this permanent magnet or this ferromagnetic material, I'm going to take it over near the stronger magnet and I'm going to reverse the direction of the magnetic field in this by forcing it temporarily to go to the pole that it repels, but I want to, once it gets in there and close to it, then that's going to reverse the direction of the magnetic field in such a way that the magnetic field now will cause the compass needle to point in the opposite direction from which it did originally. So we want to have that magnetic field penetrate that compass needle and we take this ferromagnetic material now and suspend it back on the needle and we see indeed the magnetic field has been reversed, demonstrating one more aspect of ferromagnetism.